thank you jesus thank you lord please i sound man please i need a lot of volume on this microphone want to pray praise god hallelujah hallelujah glory to god amen we're going to take the next five to seven minutes to pray and the reason why is this for most of us here this is we've been fasting for the past 19 days in two days time our fast to conclude yes sir, yes, sir. And the Bible says he has not called the house of Jacob God, to God. serve him in vain. He says when you pray in secret, yes. he said your father will reward you openly. Yes. He said when you fast in secret, yes. he said your father will reward you openly. Yes. So today we are believing for open interventions. Open interventions. We are believing for open interventions. Open interventions. We are believing for open interventions. Intervention. Somebody say grace. Yes. Somebody say grace. Yes. Somebody say grace. Yes. Say this is my story. This is my story. Yes. We're going to start by praying in tongues. Yes. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Ah. Isaiah chapter 38 verse 14. Isaiah chapter 38 verse 14. Oh Mataya. This year you will have testimonies you cannot hide. There are testimonies that announces itself. I stretch my hands towards you. This year you will have testimonies you cannot hide. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. If you receive a shout, I receive it. Isaiah chapter 38, verse 14. Yes, yes sir. sir. Go ahead and read, sir. The word of God says, Yes, sir. Like a crane or uh, a swallow. Uh-huh. So did I chatter. Yes, sir. I did mourn as a dove. Yes, sir. My eyes fell with looking upward. Yes, sir. Oh Lord. He said, Oh Lord. I am oppressed. I am oppressed. Oh Lord. Oh Lord. I am oppressed. I am helpless. Yes, sir. Oh Lord. Oh Lord. I need your help. I need your help. He said, Undertake. 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 Do you know what it means to undertake? Yes, sir. I can't do it. I can't do it. Take it over for me. I can't the doctor said my case is impossible. Undertake for me. Look at my children. Undertake for them. Look at my approval issue. Undertake for me. I'm praying for scholarship. Undertake for me. Everybody say, My father, my father. On this matter, on my goals, on my dream, on this check, my faith check. Undertake for me. Go ahead and pray everybody Set a cabaladish Peto kamante kabali Rapote kemanto shia Ento ke paraten kapaye Eshechi kapalu mata Yepote kaye Shentu kapento bala Koriki to pene kurama Yei Onta pela ke na mate Kompa nega manaba Shekete ne boroti ya on that check for me in Jesus name we pray 
Asafali kamate Eliko parato Raika palusia Ento kaya Suseke polote Epelege daya Why someone needs to speak for you Why you need help God will raise help for you Aya Ota Lita I said God will raise help for you Ropate baya where it matters, yes, you will matter. I take a part of and took a palace. I said, Where it matters, I said, You will matter. I said, Where it matters, decision tables, panel, embassies, banks, offices, government house, you will matter in the name of Jesus. God will use your life to demonstrate his power. At a post, Helekipa, Shelekima, Rapote, Lekema, Sopota, Repete, in the name of Jesus. He said the Egyptians you see today, you will see them no more. Every challenge that has been following you from last year into this month, Kapanea, let the power of God destroy them. Whatsoever we bind on it shall be bound in heaven. Whatsoever we loose on it shall be loose in heaven. Every work of the devil in the name of Jesus, I bind it. I cast it out in your health. I bind it. I cast it out in your career. I bind it. I cast it out on your marriage. I bind it. I cast it out on your finance. I bind it. I cast it out in the name of Jesus. The Bible says there's no enchantment against Jacob, neither is there any divination against Israel. He said, Associate yourself together, you shall be broken in pieces. He said, Bind yourself together, you shall be counted in pieces. He said, Like the mountains surround Jerusalem, so the power of God surround those people. He has given us a day, a prophet, a name, and the name of Jesus. Every knee shall bow, every tongue shall confess that Jesus is Lord. Avon's balls, principalities and powers, he made an open sword, triumphing over them in victory. The Bible says we have overcome by the blood of the Lamb and by the word of our judgment. I declare any siege on your life, on your health, on your body, on your pieces, the siege is broken. I said the siege is broken. Everyone that's been tempered, everyone that's been tempered from this hour, you have become fruitful. This next year, my press, I see you bringing your baby in the name of Jesus. Everyone, the business has been difficult, marriage has been difficult, promotion has been difficult. I pray that this hour your fortune changes. The fortune of Jabez changed. The fortune of Jabez changed. I said this hour. Either you are online or you are sight or in another campus. You will not lie. By This hour, your fortune changes. Genesis chapter 27 verse 27 Paramataya Genesis 27 verse 27 yes, sir. We are about to hey, Listen to me We are about to pray for Jesus. all matters of approval Jesus. Yes, sir. Approvals in every area hey. Rapate Kabar From scholarships yes. To promotion My God. To interviews My God. To funding My God. As we pray My God. The Bible says, says The stones which the builders have rejected The same stone Has become the head of Jacob yes. Everywhere you have been rejected Everywhere you have been rejected 
you become accepted in the name of Jesus. Go ahead and read. Genesis 27 verse 27. Yes, sir. It says, and he came near. And he came near. And kissed him. Kissed him. And he smelled. And he smelled The smell of his raiment. He smelled it. And blessed him. He was a blessing. I have broke up all over. He says, and he said. And he said. The smell of my soul. He said, the smell. the smell uh, of a field. Yes, sir. That the Lord has hey. blessed. <laughs> Put your right hand on yourself. But Nekabar, every bad smell, every bad smell that has been pulling you back, that has been affecting you, you are a child of God. No cause can stay your life. I command the bad smell to be broken. I command it to disappear. In the name of Jesus, from this hour, your smell is like the smell that the of the person, of the, the, person. the Lord has blessed. Shout, I receive it. My God, my God, my God, my God. Miracles everywhere. Miracles everywhere. Miracles everywhere. Loves are disappearing. Loves are disappearing. The deaf are hearing. The blind are seeing. The lame are walking. Our brothers are released. Delays are broken. Everywhere, everywhere. Some power of God is everywhere. Shout, I receive it. My God. Miracles everywhere. My God. Miracles everywhere. Yes. Listen, please. Jesus. Amane. There's something about smell. Yes. When you are somewhere, yes. when you leave, yes. your smell can remain. I can remain sir. You can be far away. Yes. You can be, sir. Your smell can get yes, there. Get there. Get there. Amata. 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 What does it mean? Ah. Yes, sir. When you are not there, my God. your smell of blessing hey, will remain. Amen. Pastor, watch yes. his smell. Yes. The smell is perception. Jesus. When people wear a perfume, yes. you say, I love, I, I perceive I, something new. Yes, it's perception. perception. Yes, From, today, yes, From today, people will perceive you yes. as blessed. Amen. They will perceive you Amen. as competent. Amen. They will perceive you Amen. for leadership. Amen. They will perceive you Amen. for promotion. Amen. They will perceive you Amen. for acceptance. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. This year will be easy for you. This year will be easy for you. In your business, you will find it easy. In your career, you will find it easy. Your children will find it easy. Your health, it will be easy. Getting married will be easy. Getting culture will be easy. Approval will be easy. In the name of Jesus. As the Lord lifted, as the Lord lifted, and His Spirit is, go and return with the testimony. Every barrier is broken. Every barrier is broken. Every barrier is broken. Carry your testimony. If you heard me, I will have heard a bigger amen. amen. Let me declare it again. Yes, sir. Let me declare it again. Yes, sir. Maybe those at the back can receive it. Maybe those online can receive it. Maybe those in the viewing side can receive it. A part of my life. A part of us. Let put a name on Norway. Me and my holy.
revelation I'm aware Jesus. that some of you are looking for seats my yes. God before they get you chairs, be praying with us. Yes. Yes. This is not a time to look for chairs. Like a to like a Anywhere you step, yes. your perception, your perception. is the perception yes. of favor, Amen. of favor, Amen. of blessing, Amen. of grace, Amen. of peace, Amen. of leadership, Amen. of promotion. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Some people have been told, yes. can any good thing come out of a Nazareth? Yes. Every negative report, yes. I raise up my hand towards heaven yes. on your behalf. He yes. says, Which report will you believe? Yes. We will believe the report of the Lord in the name of Jesus Christ. Let the report turn around. 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 Pastor Dio, yes, my sir. God, wow, my God, my God, such a powerful presence. You, uh, listen, to, if you are sensitive, yes, sir. Uh, you will know that the palpable ah, and tangible power of, of the spirit is oh still this place. Yes, sir. You will know that tonight is not like yesterday. Not like yesterday. That this place is supercharged with divine angels. Yes, sir. If your spiritual eyes can open, you will see angels get out all around this auditorium. Yes. A rat to a Receive that which you desire. Uh, uh, yesterday, Jesus. you know, we just took about six to about maybe ten testimonies. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Then Pastor Fuluke told me yes, sir. about this girl that was deaf in the ears. Yes, sir. They say she had been deaf since she was five years. Yes, five years. Now she's about 30 years yes, old sir. in the service. Yes. I hear open. You were telling me about a young child. I told you of a young child. Yes. That has cerebral palsy. The child has cerebral palsy. Yes, sir. And has never worked in his life. He was carried here. He was carried here. Yes, sir. Never worked in his life. Never worked. As you gave a word of knowledge. Yes, sir. You said there's a mother here. My yes, sir. God. With a boy that's never worked. Yes. He suddenly began to walk. My God. Pastor, he took the first step of his life on this ground. He took the first step of his life on this ground. You are receiving the first type of certain miracles tonight. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. There's power here. I want the ushers to go around. Yes. All of you that have your letters of congratulations or prayer points, give it to them. Let them bring it. Please, don't, you don't have to move. You don't have to move. All you have to do is to pass it to the left. Pass it to the left or to the right. Anyone that is close to you, pass it to the left or to the right. Let them bring it. You already have it here. Bring it out. Bring it out. Bring it out. Help me arrange it. Take a lay. Hi, Mama. No, just I may arrange it. Let me arrange it well before you put it there. We already have some, but we are going to get some more. Ezekiah read the letter to God, and God responded. God responded, sir. Can I, 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 I use this as a point of contact. Yes. Every prayer point becomes a testimony report. He said, believe the Lord your God. Believe his prophet, so shall he prosper. And the Lord confirming his word with signs and wonders following. And Kishitopa, based on the finished work of Christ Jesus, the perfect work of his death, yes, and his ascension, and his suffering. Every prayer point, every letter of congratulation, yes, sir. in that year, yes. in the viewing center, yes. online, online, becomes a full blown testimony. Amen. Wherever you need help, urgently, the help of God arises for you. Wherever you need help, 
urgently the help of God arises from you. Amen. My God. They said you will not see wind. You will not see. You will not see rain. You will not see. But the valley, the valley shall, shall be filled. It shall be filled. The faith check you have written. Yes, sir. You don't know how it will happen. Yes. You don't know how it will happen. But you will not see wind. Yes. You will not see rain. Yes. But the valley. Yes. The valley, yes. the valley, the valley, the valley, the valley, the valley shall be filled yeah. shall be filled in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Hey, God, that, that, that it's, it's okay now. It's okay now. We don't have more spaces. We'll just keep the others there. Make sure that you take the prayer point oh my God. to the church. My God. So that from Monday next level, yes, sir. we prophesy over yes, sir. My God. Ah. Praise God. The final prayer. Yes, sir. Let us. My God. And please, as I'm praying, the miracles of God are happening. They are happening. I don't think they can show the testimony from the production team. Someone that had a broken bone that led to a leg ulcer and the doctor said if they don't have a surgery nothing can be done hey. <laughs> can you show the original state of that leg is it on the screen look at the leg power the doctor said if you don't operate it, nothing can be done the doctor said we don't have that kind of money if man can help us let's turn to god my god they contacted next level prayers yes sir Anakapaya, Arakata. The woman was in in in, in or should say, is it Elisha? From somewhere like that. Sir. Yes, Elisha. The daughter was in the UK. Yes. He said, "Mommy, we can't afford this. Hey. We can't afford join the prayer. Yes. Jesus, Jesus will do it free of charge. Jesus. Oh my God. As we prayed. Jesus. Yes. What had not healed for years and for years. Yes. The power of God touched them. Yes. Power of God. Look at it right now. That's the testimony. Yes, my that's God. That's the testimony. My God. Same leg. My God. What a mighty God we serve. My God. My same leg. I came. The reason why is that with God, I, I, nothing, nothing I, shall, shall be possible. Shall be impossible. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Someone, another person has a wound that's not healed. Mm. Listen to me. Yeah. In three days, it's a trial. Amen. Amen. That fibroid you have is gone. Amen. Amen. That fallopian tube that is blocked is opened. Amen. Amen. That contract that you've been waiting for three months is approved. Amen. I see 13 scholarships approved. Amen. Wherever your case is pending, yes. let the angels of God move it forward. Amen. Wherever your approval is pending, yes. let the angels of God move it forward. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Mante. Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Have you received something? Yes, sir. If you are sick in your body, just put your hands there. Aye. Oh, Pali. If you are sick in your body, put your hands there right now. Let's do something different. If you have a neighbor close to you, tell your neighbor, join my faith with, join your faith in my own. All they have to do is to put their hands on your shoulder. Let them join their faith with yours. And right now, every form of sickness under the sound of my voice he was wounded for your transgression he was bruised for iniquity the chastisement oh man, of our peace was upon him and by stripes we are healed I command your spirit of darkness you foul spirit of infirmity in the name of the Lord Jesus come out of your body out of their ears out of their wombs out of their legs out of their ears I 
command that death and blind spirit come out in Jesus' name. I command the come out of them out of those children. Every form of barrenness is cancelled. Every form of cerebral palsy is cancelled. Every form of autism is cancelled. Every form of sleep problem is cancelled. Heart problems have been healed. Legs are receiving strength. Paralysis has been healed. Stroke is gone. I command the cancer. I say, come out of your body now. In the name of Jesus. Someone has a heart problem, the Lord healed you. Someone has an ear problem, the Lord healed you. Someone has a kidney problem, the Lord healed A cancer patient have been healed. Let both up at Lake Atomana. I, I see that you came, you came, you needed help to come. You, you, you've not been working well since you had an issue. I'm not sure if it's an accident or a sickness, but right now begin to walk. Tell them to clear away for you. Begin to walk. Begin to walk. Begin to walk. Begin to walk. In the name of Jesus Christ. This year, your business and career, your finance experience a quantum leap. Nothing good will fall from your hands again. Nothing good will fall from your hands again. Nothing good will fall from your hands again. He said, You shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water that bears its fruit in season. He said, Blessed shall thou be in going out, blessed shall thou be in coming in. He said, Blessed shall be the fruits of your body. What would take you five years to make financially? Grace will compound it into a one year miracle in the name of Jesus. You will not weep over your children. Amen. Every time you hear from your children, it will be good news. Amen. He said, The Lord will rejoice over you yes. this year. Yes. I'm praying for you. Yes. I will rejoice over you. Amen. When I hear from you, yes. it will be good news. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. I receive it. Praise God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We're going to do something very prophetic. Oh, thank you, Jesus. The choir can come. Oh, the power of God is strong in this my place. God, my God. I, I almost lost oh my, my God. step in a minute. My God. Lift up. Oh, wow. If you were sick in your body, begin to exercise your body. Begin yes, to check yes, your body yes, right yes, now. Yes, yes, yes. Begin to do what you could not do. Yes. begin to do what you could not do if you brought someone that was sick begin to help them exercise their body right now this is what we're going to do listen to me very well everyone listen please listen be, be doing what you're doing but listen with your ears yes for the first one minute you'll just lift up your two hands towards heaven mm. and see yourself in your testimony hey mm. jesus hold on don't do it yet i'll tell you what to do when i say see yourself you will see the cloth you are wearing. Hey. You will see what your husband is saying. Hey. What your brothers are saying. Jesus. When finally that email enters. Hey. My God. Hey. When finally that alert in the bank hey. enters. My God. When finally you walk down the aisle on your wedding day. Jesus. When finally the baby in your womb. The baby hey, got hey, into your womb hey, and now you're pregnant. Hey, my God. When finally your child that couldn't talk, he looked at you and said, Mommy. Hey, my God. Finally, finally, my God. Oh, when Jesus. finally the embassy called you and said, Come and pick up your leg. Let hey. hey. So, what's the first thing? My God. Listen to me. I'll tell you. One minute you just sit with your two hands and you just. Don't pray. Just lift up your two hands in your imagination. Mm. And when you have seen it after one minute, I want it to burst into thanksgiving. Not prayer. Not prayer. Lord, you did this for me. Hey. You did it for me. Ah, Lord, see what they are saying about hey. me. Hey. 
is this not me testifying on this yeah. stage talking about your goodness yes. and your favor yes. go ahead go ahead see it can you see your marriage can you see your healing wow what were you wearing who were you telling were you crying when you rolling on the floor when you made that when you made that deal and they called you and said the contract has been approved when you got the appointment how you were shocked who God used you were shocked how we walked out Oh, thank you Jesus when you went to the hospital and the doctor said madam you are pregnant when you went there and they said there's no more cancer that the cancer has disappeared go ahead and give him praise go ahead and bless him now everybody from that place hallelujah it is done Amen. let me tell you what i want you to do look for three people close to you shake them and say congratulations the lord has answered your prayers congratulations Congrat thank you choir god bless you congratulations 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 Congratulations. 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 Online, type in the comment section. Congratulations. 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 All the people from outside Lagos, congratulations. International guests, congratulations. All the mothers, congratulations. In Abuja, congratulations. In Ikorodu, congratulations. In Ibadan, congratulations. In Alimosho, congratulations. In London, congratulations. In Houston, congratulations. In Toronto, congratulations. Congratulations. The Lord has done it. Praise God. Please, you can have your seats. Hallelujah. All of you standing at the back, I, I think we've run out of sitting capacity. But don't worry, even as you're standing, the power of God is touching you, reaching you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I'm going to give a short exhortation. I'm going to give a short exhortation as we close. I, 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 just, I just want to tell you what the Lord said I should tell you before I release you. What just for you to know Sunday service is impartation service. And what we've done is that because we don't have a place that can contain everybody and we're not using place on sunday all of our churches all around you will streaming from the lekki church so anywhere you are get into and harvesters close to you there are several harvesters churches so there's an important announcement there's a missing child if you came with a child and look around you if your child is there maybe when you're praying you walked away and your child is at the security post please go ahead and get the child right now praise the lord 
so this sunday is impartation service come come and and it's the last day of our fast so come either you are if you're in a cage there is a church there in the Koro, doing a limo show in the solo in bagada in antony in the look at you in the bad in london in birmingham in the manchester everyone is there glory to god hallelujah hebrews this is a short exhortation so i don't want to go to, i'm going to go very fast hebrews chapter 4 verse 1 the bible says this it is let us therefore fear lest a promise be left of us entering into his rest that any of you should seem to come short of it so the question is this there's a question when you see two christians doing the same thing and one seems to have results and the other does not have results what is responsible most often it's their faith it's okay you know that today's a miracle the power of god is here so people see all sorts happening and it's later we catch up and it's, it will explain to you why they were shouting over there but it's okay sometimes it's their faith you see two christians praying someone says is it possible to pray without faith of course it is very possible how do i know that i'll give an example when peter was arrested the bible says the church gathered in someone's house and they were praying and the angel of god released peter and peter went straight to the house and he knocked on the door and a lady called rhoda ran back and told all that were praying excuse me the lord has answered our prayer peter is the door at the door do you know what they said the guys that were praying they said you are mad you are mad meaning that how can he be released question why were they praying if they thought god could not release him sometimes it's just what we're used to doing so the bible says here and very carefully it said there was a promise given to all but they were not able to enter into the promise because they fell short how did they fall short because of their faith but a child of god in the new testament does not have a faith problem so most of the time the child of god has not applied himself in his faith look at verse 2 verse 2 says this for unto us was the gospel preached as well as unto them but the word did not profit them why didn't it profit them because it was not mixed with faith in their hearts it says that the reason why they didn't see the result of the word is because it was not mixed with faith everybody was touching jesus but one woman that was sick for 30 and 8 years touched with the touch of faith everybody touched a shirt she touched the power of god as you are here tonight and when you leave this place you must realize that your faith is a key to all of god's blessings all of god's blessings has been made available by grace you must remember that there's no prayer you're going to pray that will make god do something no sir all of god's blessing has been done he see a healing you want it's been done someone says well i'm suffering from a cooking addiction your deliverance has been done is he a child you want he's been done is he an approval you want he's been done so it's been done look at what the bible says he says it's the one that opens the door and no man can shut it so if it's been done what do i have to do all i have to do is to press in with my faith and so then what is faith faith is taking personal responsibility by believing and acting on god's word to see the manifestation of what god said there are many angles to faith but faith is taking personal responsibility for believing the word and acting on what the word said the bible says that there was a there was a man that was paralyzed and his friends you know you know this morning i saw this woman that was healed that was on the walking stick i saw her during the prayers at next level 
very touching and just to imagine that she came with a walking stick used it for five years and someone said if i take it to wine press you will be healed and she came here and when she came here what happened to her the walking stick dropped and she began to walk i, I kept on watching over and over that lady that was dancing the older woman that was dancing and sometimes it seems difficult to even believe that these people had a sickness your faith is very important so what is faith faith is so number one faith is taking personal responsibility one of the stories that touched me in the bible the most is the woman with the issue of blood mark chapter 5 the bible says she's been sick for 30 and 8 years the question is this how can you be sick for 30 and 8 years you have tried everything and you've not gotten well and you still believe i want to ask you something you that are depressed and overwhelmed i understand that things are tough and things have made you very depressed you're overwhelmed because you've tried everything you know for a change but it has not worked but every time you think that i've gone through so much remember the woman with the issue of blood she was not 38 years old she had had the issue of blood for 38 years she had lost all her money because of the sickness because as she saw doctors she was losing her finance but the woman said i know if i can believe i can have a miracle she said to herself the bible says and this outfit works when she heard of jesus she believed what she heard and said if i may but touch the helm of his garment i shall be made whole she took a risk because a woman with that kind of sickness should not be stepping out. They could stone her to death. But she said, if I can touch the helm of his garment. Question, do you still believe you can have a miracle? I Listen to me. I understand you don't know the governor. I understand that your papers are not complete. I understand you have so many competition in your business. I understand that there has been losses upon losses in your business. But do you believe that you can have a testimony? Do you believe? The woman has been sick for 38 years. Just like one lady testified. Um, they, uh, I mean, one, of my, as one of the leaders was telling me about a testimony. And I think this woman is 50, 52 now. And for the first time, she had a baby. Praise God. The, 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 there's, a, there's a testimony that is very mind-boggling in our church. I shared it on Monday. A lady when she, five or six years ago had a problem with um, a fallopian tube so she went to a hospital and they took it out and they caught her the mark was there the medical report was there we prayed for miracles the next level she began to feel some sensation there she went back to the hospital she went back to a popular hospital in lagos and they checked her womb and they found an over fallopian tube she told the doctor that they've taken it out the doctor said it's not possible because it doesn't grow again he said i can't find it then all of a sudden she brought back the old report and the current report and they began to compare it yesterday and i'm telling you that just possible it says if you believe you will see the glory of the lord there was a time in my life where we are today was something that was in my mind and i was believing will happen and we will be three five six seven eight nine ten you know the first you know after we did the first night one of the brothers i was in the first wine press sent me a message he said i can remember the first wine press we were just about 120. and i said even though we're 120 i believe father i know you feel the pain in your body but can you believe i know you don't see the money but can you believe because the bible says all things are possible to him that believe it the problem is this you're thinking i'm 38 now who will get me married i'm 44 now who will get me married listen to me if you can figure it out you have become god the reason why you can't figure it out is this because that's god's work you're thinking so how will i make a million dollars this year every time you have you ask yourself a question you don't have an answer to should i give an answer should i give an answer every time you say doctor say you can't have a child but you say you can have a child they say but your womb is blocked you have fibroid your womb is blocked tell the doctor that looks like a job for El Shaddai 
Do you hear what I said? That looks like a job for El Shaddai. They say your child will not talk. That looks like a job for El Shaddai. They say things are wrong with your children. That looks like a job for El Shaddai. They say you will not walk again. That looks like a job for El Shaddai. Natural power says it's impossible. But the Bible says with God, nothing shall be impossible. Glory to God. I say glory to God. You must remember that faith is a creative force. Hebrews 11 verse 3. He said, by, he said through faith we understand that the world, the aeon, were framed by the word of God. When your faith is at work, faith creates. If it was not there, faith will create it. How sapunta kavalante. He says, through faith. We understand that the aeons, the world, were framed, were created, were put together by the word of God. Listen to me. You don't know who God is? The Bible says God is the one that calls light out of darkness. There doesn't have to be light there. God can call light out of darkness. That's the power of raw faith. It doesn't matter what is missing your business. It doesn't matter who you know, who you don't know. The power of raw faith will create it. The power of raw faith will create it. Verse 2 of Hebrews 11 says something about faith. He said, by faith, the elders obtain a good report. Anywhere faith is involved, good report comes. That's why I know everywhere you are expecting a report from, it will be a good report. That amen can get better. That amen can get better. Amen. Anywhere you are expecting a report from, it should be a good report. Amen. There's a just help me with the volume. My, my voice is thinning out. You want to do something? What's that? Are you old? Oh wow. Thank you. Oh, this is not on at all. Wow. Can you imagine that? I've been holding this microphone and this microphone wasn't on. Is it better? Oh, wow. Can you imagine that? Wow. Understanding is very key. And I've been... Is that not what happens in Christ? You have something that you don't know about it. And all you have to do is to turn it on by faith. Ah, yeah. Turn it on by faith. Turn it. All of a sudden, everything changes. He says, All things are possible to him that believeth. If you believe, shout yes. Praise God. Let me show you one scripture and we'll close from here. I, I want to pray. Oh, there's a prayer I want to pray for you. Oh, I'm Marco Bolo Shete. In the book of Genesis, Pharaoh had a dream. And no one could interpret it. So they got Joseph. So Joseph came and interpreted it. And Joseph said, I will give you interpretation. He said, Tell me the dream. I will give you an interpretation. And I pray. There's a last word. He said, I pray that the Lord will give you an answer of peace. He says, by the time the interpretation comes, it will be peaceful. Anywhere you need to hear from, anywhere you need a response from, you will hear from them speedily and it will be an answer of peace. An answer that will comfort you. In the name of Jesus. Praise God. I say praise God. The last thing about faith, Ephesians chapter 6, verse 16. Please sit down. Just about six down. Many things I can say about faith. Faith has the power to suspend natural laws and break barriers, spiritual and natural barriers. Ephesians chapter 6, verse 16. Watch this now. Everybody pay attention to this. It says, uh, let's read together. Want to go? Let's read loud. Want to go? Above all taking the shield of faith 
wherein you'll be able to quench all the fairy darts of the weekend. And I want to close with this. Have you noticed in this place your faith is very high? Yes or no? Exactly. But tomorrow will come. Next month will come. And the devil will fire fairy darts. What are fairy darts? Some of you are thinking of some arrows. No. Fairy dart comes in form of thoughts. A thought will just hit you. That business will not work. A thought will just hit you. Your child will not do well. A thought will just hit you. You may have cancer. A thought will just hit you. What about if they reject your proposal? And those thoughts, they are not normal thoughts. They have been wired by demonic spirits. You know what the Bible says? It says it's with faith we quench. We quench all the fiery darts of the enemy. Let me tell you what that means. And I want to teach you how to do it in practical terms. Practical terms. I, I will tell you what it is. What I was, I will tell you the story. When I was young, I started pastoring. And our church began to grow. And my uncle, you know, I don't know why he said this to me. He called me and said, wow, you're young and your ministry is doing very well. You need to be careful because you can be a shooting star. And when he said that, fear entered my heart. I knew I had been shot an arrow. Because the way you know an arrow has entered is that you start feeling afraid. Nothing has changed, but fear has entered. The presence of fear is the work of a demonic spirit. So I began to feel afraid. Hey, 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 hey. I'm a shooting star. That means I may go down tomorrow. I may go down tomorrow. But I'd learned the word of God. That when you have shot an arrow like that, what do you do? You raise the shield of faith. What does it mean? Let me tell you. Once the thought comes, either you heard it, they told you. Before the thought becomes solidified, you will raise up the shield of faith and say, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, the word of God says that the path of the righteous is like a shining light that shines brighter and brighter to the perfect day. What are you doing? By quoting the word, you are raising the shield of faith. The thought comes to you that you will not have a child. You say, no. The Bible says, none shall be barren in their midst. The thought comes to you that you will not do well in business. He said, no. The Bible says, I'm like a field planted. I'm like a tree planted. But the rivers of living water that bears his fruit in season. The thought comes to you and said, this will be a difficult year because you are in this country. He will tell the thought, when men say there's a casting down. He said, we will say that there is a lifting up. The thought comes to you that you will not be able to pay for that admission pay for that project he will tell the thought the lord is my shepherd i shall not want he makes me to lie down in green pastures he leads me beside the still water he restored my soul oh somebody shout hallelujah he leaded me in the path of righteousness for his name's sake are you ready are you ready he said though i walk through the valley of the shadow of death he said though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death it doesn't matter who is with you or who is against you he said though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death I fear no evil because thou art with me thy rod and thy staff they comfort me thou preparest a table before me in the presence of my enemies are you hearing me he said thou preparest a table before me in the presence of my enemies my enemies that are there but they are helpless my enemies are there but they are useless he said thou preparest a table before me you are stepping into prepared tables he said thou preparest a table before me in the presence of my enemies thou anointest my head with oil listen to me this is the most confusing one you know why how does he anoint your head with oil and it shows up in your cup in your bank account the cup is a bank account how does he anoint your head with oil and it shows up in your bank account he said thou anointest my head with oil and my ear push and my cup run it over he said surely surely goodness not generational causes he said goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life because i'm the dwelling house of the Lord. if you believe shall i receive it curse does not follow me why it's only goodness and mercy that follows me 
shame does not follow me only goodness and mercy follows me if i walk into an office goodness and mercy follows me when i step into february goodness and mercy follows me when i step to toronto goodness and mercy follows me when i start a business goodness and mercy follows me i'm not afraid of tomorrow because greater is he that is in me than he that is in the world whatsoever is born of god overcome the world this is the victory that overcomes the world even our faith my faith is working say with me my faith is working Say my faith is working. Say my faith is working. Say my faith is working. It's working in every area. Shout I receive it. Praise God. It doesn't matter what the doctor said. My faith is working. I believe it shall be even as it was told me. Say my faith is working. Say my faith is working. Work your hands this way. Say my faith is working. 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 By the power of the Holy Ghost. 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 Seven ladies that had too much lumps in their breasts just disappeared. Another hearing problem might be healed by the power of God. This year, it will be really easy for you. Yeah. Say that one minute. We're about to close. We're going to close with a lot of thanksgiving tonight. We're going to go with extraordinary. We're, we're going to dance our way. Is Casey around? Is Caleb around? Oh, Rabbi Shandahaya. Yeah. Why are we dancing? Because we know the Lord has done it. Yeah. You, you saw Minister Abbe, Minister Abbe, finest of the finest artists. Gospel minister, finest of the finest. Praise God. So the question is this watch this now. When I leave this place, how do I always use my faith? You must remember faith coming by hearing so the first thing stay away from things that kill your faith whatever doesn't see watch this now whatever doesn't give you faith will give you fear whatever doesn't give you faith will give you fear ask yourself who is around me and, and this is very powerful watch this when the angel told mary he said you're going to get pregnant mary could not believe because she had never seen it before you know what the angel said the angel said let me help you your aunt elizabeth that was called barren is now pregnant why did the angel refer to that because whatever is related to you can become your testimony oh wow Mataya. oh wow whatever you are in relationship with can become related to you and watch this now why did the angel say that because mary knew elizabeth's struggle what he was saying is this if you hang around someone that i've done it for it can rub off on you everybody watch this this is a miracle this is what people don't see in the bible everybody i want to see this remember when mary went to see elizabeth she was literally weeks old because from the narrative she was weeks old do you know as soon as elizabeth saw her elizabeth said mary you are pregnant how did she know even the best of the doctors cannot tell if a woman is pregnant in three weeks it was a spiritual communication he said the baby in my womb lives he said the mother of my lord is a blessed why am i saying this if you want your faith to be built hang around people that have your kind of testimony glory to god i hope you know that misery likes company so you're a single girl believing for marriage don't just hang around single girls alone look for people that were like you and they had the testimony the more they talk to you the more they will let you know that god can do it but if you keep talking to all the other single people the single people you should have single people you're talking to them also you should disconnect 
But they'll turn around and say, ah, you see, once married, may have signed out to, oh, may I don't believe in that again. No, I don't need people to talk to me about unbelief. I need people that can talk to me about faith. If your finance is struggling, don't go and look for people that say, ah, hey, this country, dollar has finished us. No, I'm looking for people that say, ah, can I share a testimony with you? Yesterday, one brother shared with me. Very powerful testimony. He said, last year I lost 200 million. He said, and I was praying for restoration. And I believed I received it. He said, last month, there was an opportunity. And I was going to invest $10,000. And the Lord spoke to me and said, son, go hard. You will recover all. He said, I made up my mind and I invested $40,000. He said, Pastor Walaji, before God and man, as of right now, I've made over $800,000 in one month. He said, one transaction has wiped out all I've lost. He said, Pastor, guess what? I've removed my capital and some profits. I've left the rest there. Listen, God is not a man. Stop trying to figure out how you will do it. That's the problem. You are too intelligent for God. All this Harvard and all this Harvard you went, you need like bad covenant is affecting your mind. God is not in the class of your professors. Your professor learn God himself. Knowledge is in God. Professors learn knowledge is in God. So the first thing is this. Faith comes by hearing. The next thing. Faith comes. What do you hear? Whatever you hear, you believe it. He said, what? Believe that report. Believe it. Mary said, be it unto me. I come to God's word. What is that one? You confess it. Confess it. I'm like a tree planted by the rivers of water. You confess it. Thou anointed my head with oil and my cup went over. He has prepared a table before me in the presence of my enemy. Listen to me. If the, your life will rise to the level of your confession. Confess it. And the last thing is this. Act it. The woman did not just say that. If I touch the helm of his garment, I'll make whole. No. She stepped out and acted his faith. Step down and act this faith. And that's what we're going to do tonight. And that's why every time I pray for the sick, what does acting mean? Where you have applied before, go and apply again. Where you have been refused before, go back there. And they'll say, what has changed? Grace has changed everything. When you go back there, go with a different expectation. They wonder, why are you here? Because something has changed. The power of the Holy Ghost has walked in. Glory to God. As we close tonight, I'm going to ask to pray for people that are far from Christ. That's the first. But the second thing is this. We always do something very powerful on the Friday night of wine press. And we always give an Isaac offering. And what's an Isaac offering? It's not an offering to manipulate you for God to do something. It's an offering of faith. And say, for all the things I've asked for, this is an offering that the Lord has done it. You know, they were, they were sharing with me the testimony. The brother that got money every week. I don't know the rule. Could you come and tell me that testimony? Just come. I'll give you, micro, I'll give you this microphone. Praise God. I, I, I don't remember. So, there are so many testimonies. I don't remember. Yeah, go ahead. Thank you, Pastor Bologi, for this. So, um, the brother was a member of Bagada Campus as of 2022. So, when we came for Wine Press and you spoke about Isaac offering, he had never done anything like that before. He, he thought to himself, if I do this giving and nothing happens, I'm done for. But he said, I'll put God to test. So, he gave the, the best he had ever done in his life. A week after, his older sister called him and he said he was an unlikely person to call him to do an investment. But she called him and said, brother, you have some money, let's invest. So he said, okay, let me give you a try. My sister, he tried it, gave the money to her, they invested money together. From that week of the investment, Pastor Bolaji, this was first week of February in 2022. Every single week, he was earning in six figures. And wow. he said he was, not, wow. he was not half a million. So he was earning 
close to a millionaire every week. I, I remember when he testified, he said yes. he had bought a house for his parents. They built a house. He bought a, he built a house for his parents by October of 2022. Praise God. This brother has moved abroad now. He's part of the Ma Birmingham church in, in, in the UK. And he sponsored himself from the city. And he said, Pastor, the money is still coming. Praise God. Amen. Let me tell you what the Isaac offering is. No pressure. You don't have to. And that's the truth because there's a lot of preaching that says if you don't do this, you are doomed, you die, you break. No, I, I don't believe all that. I believe that the Bible giving is from your heart. I believe that Bible giving can be sacrificial. It should stretch you. Can I even tell you something? I believe that when it's Bible giving, God will tell you what to give. You know why? Because everybody's heart here, God knows your capacity. So, as we prayed, as we worshipped, I'm going to challenge everyone. We do this every year in our church. Every Believe in God. The Lord, you've done. It's, it's, see, I, I love Isaac offering. Because we've not seen answer. But this is faith. Father, this is my Isaac offering to thank you for what I've not seen. I'm not pregnant yet, but giving thanksgiving offering. How can God refuse me? I'm not pregnant yet. I, I'm not married yet, but giving thanksgiving offering. How can God reject me? And this is what you have to do. I'm going to pray a prayer. The Spirit of God knows everyone here. And I'm going to ask him to tell you exactly what you have to do. Some of you, this will be the first time in your life you will give your first 1,000 naira. That's all you have. And God will take it and bless it. Some of you, it will be the first time you give your first 1 million or 10 million. $1,000 or $5,000. And the Lord will take it and bless you. Remember, it's a sacrifice of faith. Praise God. All eyes closed, all heads bowed. If you want to get born again, can you stand on your feet? I want to pray for you. You'll be here for a few days now. You've seen the power of God. You know you're not born again. Stand on your feet, I want to pray for you. Stand on your feet, I want to pray for you. Oh, my shatter. If you want to give your heart to Christ, anywhere you are, just stand on your feet. Thank you for standing. Well, you're not going to come out. We don't have the time and space for you to come out. Stand on your feet anywhere you are. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Will you say this prayer after me? All of you standing. Say, Lord Jesus, I thank you for dying for me. I believe in the message of the gospel that you, were, you suffered, you died, buried, and raised from the dead for my sake. I received into my life and I received the life of God into my spirit. And according to your word, I declare that I'm born again. In Jesus' mighty name, amen.